Brother Marines. We have returned again on this day, the Sunday Preview. Codex Space Marines slamming into action day. I'm here, you're here, let's get into the article. Let's not beat around the bush. I like it that way. The new Codex Space Marines is on its way, and you'll be able to place your pre-orders in just six days' time. Pre-order now. It's going to be a busy week here at Warhammer Community, so here's what's coming up between now and then. And I guess we'll click this video. Let's see what this is. It is three minutes long. Okay, let's do this. This Week in Warhammer. Welcome wow. to This Week in Warhammer. My name's Alex, and it's time to take a look at what is happening in your favorite hobby over the next seven days. Chapter Masters of the Adeptus Astartes, your call for reinforcements has been answered. Excellent. Codex Space Marines contains all of the rules, lore, and information needed for any commander of the Adeptus Astartes. This is the only book Within anyone is a needs for Warhammer. information, as well as painting guides and rules for Combat Patrol, Crusade, and match play games of Warhammer 40,000. Good, good. Codex Space Marines will be available in a beautiful With the librarian and the edition, darker as well as sides and the regular to picture the release book. Of their codex, Get the book now. Reorder it today. Heroes, John Here is the Command Squad, the Assault Squad, as well as the a guy. Squad, Veterans, Terminator armor, Chaplain Eman, Terminator, Squad, Terminators, all to and all of the boxes in their boxy Combat goodness. Patrol Space Marines Combat contain a host Patrol of miniatures ideal Space for starting Marines. a new force, augmenting an existing one, or for playing games of Combat Patrol. This week also sees the standalone release of the Brutalis Dreadnought, Desolation Brutal. Squad, and Lieutenant, formally available in the Strike Force Agastus box set, along with the Space Marine data sheet cards That's and dice set, whilst the chapter-approved Leviathan mission deck also returns. All of these fantastic wow. releases will be available to pre-order on Saturday. Amazing. The Sixth Legion have been deployed to the oh, battlefields of the Horus Heresy. Lead the Sons of Rus with the Space Wolves Praetor and Look at that the Legion Astartes and these the beaky heads with their cresty thingy crystal heads, Sailor Moon tiaras. Both are available to pre-order from Forge World on Friday. On Friday, the but today's the Sunday. We have opened once more. Gene Father by Guy Haley arrives oh, in an illustrious special edition signed by the author. Wow. And in royal hardback, ebook, and audiobook. Can as the well ebook be signed? Paperback and ebook. Wrath of the Lost by Chris Forrester returns oh, as a chaplain in Chaplin Holy guy. Death by Dan Abnett returns wow. on audiobook. Eisenhorn the Omnibus by Dan Omnibus? Abnett arrives that's in German the best. paperback and ebook. Pilgrims of Fire by Justin Pilgrims Hill of returns Fire? In that's that song that from Avenged Sevenfold, isn't it? Mike Brooks returns in French wow, it's in the Orcs. All of these incredible wow, stories will Black be Library. To Here it comes. Library it's coming at us. Today. Coming hot. The Age of Sigmar e short Age of Sigmar? Look at that lightning bolt. Shazam! It's your chance to get another series of brilliant short stories from across the mortal realms. Wow, the mortal realms. This week on Warhammer Plus, oh, no, the Necron for its thrilling second episode. Wow. Lawmasters discusses the metallic Look at Necron there. assassins. Are those as also marks. eyes? A Citadel Color Masterclass shows you how to wow, paint master class. Look models. at that. Look at the flames. Orion Nexus Episode 2, Lawmasters Necron Deathmarks and Masterclass Lore Free masters. and Flames will be available to watch on Warhammer Plus on Wednesday. Wow, Warhammer Whatever Plus. Whatever Warhammer hobby you're up to this week, head to the Sunday preview article over on Warhammer Community to find but, out more about wait, all of the upcoming releases. But this releases. is the sun... Make this sure is the Sunday. All of the latest news this is the Sunday the preview. How, as well as you're, you're telling me in the Sunday Instagram, preview to go Twitter, to the Sunday preview. I, this That's is. All for this week. I'll what, see you next time. Now, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much more is there going to be left to actually say? Okay, let's just go over this then. Note that the Space Marine releases will all be on a two-week pre-order period. Pre-order over the next two weeks now. This means that they will be released on the 14th of October, so you have plenty of time to complete your armoring ritual before deployment. Shall we have a good look at the stuff that is also good? Mm. Let's take a look. Codex Space Marines, as featured here. There's a Space Marine. That's a Space Marine. That could have been a Space Marine. We don't know. Maybe it's a heretic. No idea. But... Tyranids are running rampant across the galaxy, but the Space Marines are ready to fight back. The new Codex is packed with data sheets, detachment rules, background lore, beautiful miniature showcases, and crusade content aplenty. This huge 216-page book contains seven, count them, seven complete detachments with a wide variety of abilities and play styles. Any Space Marine can use these rules, including divergent chapters like the Space Wolves and the Blood Angels. 
Want to see what happens when the Black Templars try being sneaky for once in a vanguard spearhead? Well, now you can. Wow, as featured here. And of course, if you're one of the first company veterans, a regular codex just won't do. That's why there's a luxury special edition featuring unique cover art, oil details, and fetching gilt page edges. This is strictly limited to just a few thousand copies. Get them now while you still can, Mr. Moneybags. Captain with the jump pack, here he is in his captain-y goodness. He's got the captain ropey thing, and he's got the, like, laurel, and he's got a lot of purity seals and stuff, and he's got the eagle on his shoulder right there, so he's definitely a captain. With the optional assembly of a chainsword or a power fist, this captain is not to be messed with. Space Marine captains aren't just strategic masterminds, they're also fashionable geniuses. They have warrior strength of their own right, and may prefer to smash straight into the enemy ranks, strapped to a jump pack. These new kits give you the options to send your eager leader flying into close combat with several different weapon choices, as well as both helmeted and unhelmeted options. Mmm, delicious. The Chaplain in Terminator armor with all of his chaplainy chaplainess, and the Relic Shield, which is an optional assembly option. Delivers sermons on the front lines safely with the latest in personal priesthood protection. The Chaplain in Terminator armor, this walking behemoth of righteous fury, is all but immovable on the battlefield. And that's before he straps on his optional relic shield. Ho, ho, ho. He can even choose between two variants of Crozius Arcanum, as featured here, this one and the one that you just can't see. Now, there's also the Company Heroes, and this one right here that should make the Iron Hands really special. It's like they've had a model included for their range, see? There is the newest Iron Hands inclusion to the Iron Hands chapter. Be thankful that they even forgot to remember you. So, here they are, as featured here, with a champion and an Iron Hands guy and the Heavy Bolter guy, yeah. And then this guy's got the flag banner thing, but he's like high above his head, because he's like, I want to be different. And then he's like, over there, brothers. I have like a regular looking bolter, so it's probably a pistol or something. Over there, brothers. I'm totally not a captain, even though I have the ropes, and I probably have an eagle on this side, and I totally look like I would be a captain, I'm not a captain. Remember that, brothers. Captains and chapter masters are often accompanied by some of the finest heroes of their chapter as a personal bodyguard. The squad's ancient carries a fluttering company banner to inspire his comrades and boost their objective control, while the company champion duels enemy leaders, Rufio, Rufio, before they can even think of getting near the captain. The veterans, meanwhile, lay down a hail of bolt fire, and this kit includes a versatile captain with multiple- Okay, he is a captain! Okay, he is a captain, that's a captain, he's got a little captain in him, you can see right there, and he's got the things, he's a captain. Alright, so, Terminator Squad. Wow. I guess they're like Terminators. So, Terminator, the bulked up Terminators, totally not Primaris trademark, first seen in the Leviathan box set, are back with a full multi-part plastic kit, including classic weapons like the Heavy Flamer and the Cyclone Missile Launcher. These five, one, two, three, four, five, and then this guy, plastic Terminators are packed with options including wide range of heads and chain fists for all who want them. And in case you're up against a legion of stubborn vehicles and fortifications, ho ho ho. Now, the Jump Pack Intercessors and... Um, and, and this guy, who's also a jump pack intercessor. That's right, not gonna make that same mistake twice. Take to the skies, brothers, and deliver a hot, fresh chainsaw death at an indeterminate speed with a band of assault intercessors equipped with the latest in jump pack technology. These five multi-part plastic assault troops cause massive damage with the weight of their charge alone. 
While the sergeant has the option of a hand flamer, plasma pistol, power sword, and power fist in the place of his regular equipment. So he can have all four of those things. Remember that. That's what it says right there. Stern gourd. Stern gourd. That's like a, it's like a jar or like a, like a bottle. The stern gourd. The veteran squad, as featured here with their flamery flamery squad guy and the melter man. Space Marines with many years of service are organized into Stern Guard veteran squads who wield finely tuned bolt guns and combi weapons. This new multi-part plastic kit builds five, count them, one, two, three, four, five, five veterans with your choice of Stern Guard bolt guns or combi weapons as featured right there, that's right, and includes the brand new Pyre Cannon heavy weapon as a heavy weapon option. That's right there, the Pyre Cannon. It's like a double pyre blaster. And there's also the back banner. Wow, back banners are back. Banner. Lieutenant. Wow, another lieutenant. I never thought I would see the day. And look, he's also potentially an Iron Hands lieutenant. Wow, this is a happy day for the Iron Hands. Optional assembly, not Iron Hands. Another optional assembly, also not Iron Hands. The leader of a strike force, Augustus, gets a standalone release. That's right, this guy right here. That's right, he is totally looks like Marnius Calgar, but he's not Marnius Calgar. Just remember that. And he's ready to join your Space Marine squads and grant the powerful Lethal Hits ability to all of their weapons. This intensely customizable kit can be equipped in many different ways, from the classic power fist and plasma pistol combo to power swords, bolt rifles, or the dreaded pointing finger, the deadliest of all the dad marine weapons. The Brutalis Dreadnought, who also has pointy fingers if I might add. The best place for a gigantic walking death machine is right in the middle of the enemy, and the Brutalis Dreadnought is equipped to take full advantage of the sheer everything shredding power of its mighty fists and talons as featured here. Gone are the heavy weapons and guns and the shooty things of the Redemptor, or the missiles of the Ballistis. This Dreadnought is squarely in the business of tearing things apart in close combat, and the business is booming. That's right. Profit on the battlefield, and this guy is very sexy. The Desolation Squad. Well, your Brutalis Dreadnought is having the time of their life in melee combat. Some long-range fire support is just the ticket to keep it from being overwhelmed. And that's why you need these t-shirt launcher marines. The Desolation Squad is the final word in a man-portable missile-flinging firepower able to lay down a barrage of high explosives at impressive range while sitting squarely behind the safety of some good old cover. They even have the choice of Super Frag or Super Crack. Super Frag, Super Frag, I'm Super Fraggy. So you can pick whatever is best against the unfortunate subject of your ire. And then we have Combat Patrol Space Marines, which features many, if not just exclusively, the things that we just talked about, except for this guy and this guy, who are also there, I guess. Take an elite flexible force into Combat Patrol and kickstart your Space Marine collection with this fine assemblance of powerful heroes. Five Terminators, five Infernus Marines, a Terminator Captain, and a Terminator Librarian, who may have seen grinding up some Tyranids in the Leviathan box set earlier this year, put out the damage of many more men, and are tough as nailed to boot. Okay, what, what? Okay, we'll just move past that, because I'm just not going to try that one. Wow! Space Marines and dice and... and cards? Wow. Add some handy accessories to your army with a 99 reference card set featuring every Space Marine datasheet, separate combat patrol cards, and an armory reference, and a pack of 16 pearlescent blue plastic dice. Wow. With metallic silver pips. Wow. And the faction logo of the Adeptus Astartes on the 6. Wow. Diggy hard. Blah, 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 blah. These cards, got it on the second try, have gold gilt edging, as befits the mightiest warriors of mankind and the chapter-approved Leviathan Mission deck, as featured here. That's their cards. They totally don't look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
This pack of cards is an essential companion for playing matched play games of Warhammer 40,000. First available in the Leviathan box set, and now coming to shelves separately. Drawing cards from each deck allows you to quickly construct an exciting mission and execute gambits to bring trailing players back into the game. That's right, gambit, Mona me. Warhammer, the Horus Heresy. This space wolf guy is back with his, like, like lion thing, because they definitely are known for wearing lion pelts. You know, the space wolves. And so, Praetors of the Space Wolves Legion are some of the brawniest fighters in the galaxy. And as befits their station, they march to war in a highly ornamented battle plate. This resin resin ah, man, has also mounts the pelt of a Fenrisian wolf. That's a Fenrisian wolf and totally not a lion, everybody. Though he no doubt slew himself. That's right, on his shoulder. They really need to bring attention to that. It's a wolf. And on his shoulder, he carries a heavy Fenrisian axe. That's right, that's right there. Hmm. Heavy Fenrisian Axe. Get me the Fenrisian Axe, brother. No, the heavy Fenrisian Axe, which the AP2 strikes will have no trouble slicing through Terminator armor. He comes with two head options, helmet or glorious flowing beard, as not featured here. Why? Why is it not featured there? And do you see this red circle around the end of the bolt pistol? If you zoom in, did you see it? Now, the Space Wolf Mark VI heads, as featured here with their beaky, slicey beaks, and this guy. Warriors of the Sixth Legion engrave their helmets with ancient runes and icons from their native Fenris, even as the advanced Mark VI Corvus Power Armor was distributed towards the end of the Horus Heresy. This pack of eleven resin heads for Mark VI Space Marines gives your troops a subtle Fenrisian flair and includes an unhelmeted option for your sergeant in case they want to feel the chill winds of hope running through their hair. Beard. What running through him? The beard. So, Black Library, Gene Father. Wow, look, there's like Fabius Bile, and I think that's like Belisarius Call, and there's like a Skitari guy, and like a cult man, and it's all done in purple, so it's got a very... Emperor's children-y kind of gene stealery feel to it. Let's keep going. The finest minds in the Imperium have come together at the behest of Belisarius Paul to unlock the secrets of the Necron Pylon Network and heal the great wounds torn across the galaxy. This conclave of intellectuals is the greatest gathering of scientific genius in millennia, so naturally. A visionary like Fabius Bile must also be in attendance, whether he's been invited or not. What a party crasher. Possibly the two greatest inventors in the galaxy hit their gray matter against each other in Gene Father, the latest Warhammer 40,000 novel by Guy Haley. As Call's cold logic faces off against Bile's mad inspiration, as featured there, and I suppose here as well, I'm only guilty of saving humanity. If that's the charge, I accept full responsibility. Mm -mm -mm. This new novel is coming to Black Library shelves in its standard hardback ebook and MP3 audiobooks editions, but will also be graced with a beautiful special edition numbered and signed by the author. This edition contains an additional so short story, an additional one, wow, to speak as one probably about call. In it bound is am. And it is bound. Let's try that one more time. In a soft touch cover with alternate art, gilt page edges, and a black ribbon page marker. Wow. That is quality product. Wrath of the Lost, as featured here with Chaplain Man. Between the Great Rift, High Fleet Leviathan, and the ever-present pull of the Black Rage, things are looking pretty bad for the Flesh Terrors. Oh no, their vengeful campaign to secure Bale, or Ball, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I'm not choosing a sign, has left them drastically reduced in numbers, and even with an influx of Primaris reinforcements, they need to get recruiting sharp-ish. So not like right away, but right away-ish. Unfortunately, their home planet of 
Protasia has fallen eerily quiet, and there's precious little time to investigate. A chaplain and an apothecary, and an elf, a dwarf, and a man, neither of whom have ever set on their homeworld, must retrace the journey of their founder in Wrath of the Lost by Chris Forrester, now returning to shelves in a new paperback edition, as featured there. And then, wow, Dan Abnett only in death. Wow, it's available on your phone as an audiobook. You got to have the earplug bud things, or else you're not getting that Dan Abnett experience. A classic God's Ghost tale returns as a brand new audiobook in Dan Abnett's Only in Death. Commanded to hold a critical pass, the Tanith first and only will need to watch for enemies, as featured there, without and ghosts within, to survive their stay at the Hinzer House, and conquering their fears is only the start. And then we have Eisenhorn the Omnibus, the German edition. Now, it's in German, and this is in English, but that's clearly not the way that we're going to do this. We're going to copy this, and we're going to go right here, where it says English to German. And we're going to put this in here, and now, we are going to read this right there. Verfolgen Sie die Complete Saga, des Berumtesten, Inquisitors der Black Library, in Dan Abnett's Eisenhorn, the Omnibus. Jetzt Erzmalz in einer Deutsch Sprachigen, Verof Nechung Chung, Erhalich Dizer, M. Van Griech Walzer für Samelt, Sein Ver Habdabentur, Zenos Malleus Hereticus, und the Magos, Soi Ver Kirschke Chichen, Regia Occulta, Missing in Action, Backcloth for a Crown. Additional und the killer image of fast one one because that's a decimal point one Saiten des Clashen Warhammer forty thousand fiction. That's right, brother Marines. We just read all that. Then there's also Pilgrims of Fire, as featured here, which also we are not going to read that in English, because that's not going to be wacky and kooky. So let's just get rid of this, put this in here, bam. Ein Mission der Adeptus Sororitas schliebt sich der Verfluchten. Indomitus flot quintus in Pilgrims of Fire. Von Justin D. Hill. Dem Otter der Cadian Honor, Re an Schwester. Hellwise mag ein Kampfschwester. Sein aber sie Knight nicht. Dazu direct ins Martyritum. Zu Sturzen, Zemundest nicht. Bevor sie einen Horen Zweck gefunden hat, dem ihr Tod dienen konnte. Diese Episch Geschichte erscheint bald in einem neuen deutschen Taschenbuchformat. That's right, Brother Marines. And Warboss in French, as featured here. That's right. That means we're going to have to take all of this. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to need to copy it, so that's right. And go to English to French. That's right, Brother Marine. La Histoire Classique de Mike Brooks sur une crise de succession. Anarchy de Orcs est publié pour la première. Foi en français, alors que Warboss raconte. La histoire de six patrons se précipitant pour combler le vide de pouvoir lassé par Gazrot Gorosnapa. Désormais mort, nous savons tu que la plus grande et la plus vers d'entrée au Gagnera. Mais qui sera que exactement? Brother Marines? Warhammer Age of Sigmar e shorts week 2023. That's right. Wow. Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Totally into this. And there's a bunch of stuff. Another Black Library e short week is here to bring bite sized tales from the mortal realms with five new short stories from Jonathan Green, 
Ruel uh, James with from James, Gary Closter, C. L. Werner, and Noah Van Win. New Win. All right, in the, let's all let's all fight in the chat out of how to pronounce that. Each story delves into the myriad mysteries of the Age of Sigmar, as beasts, demons, and mortal men are caught in a never-ending spiral of chaos and survival. Each story can be bought separately as they release, but to get all five, for the price of four, opt for the full week subscription Warhammer Plus as featured here. Over at Warhammer TV, the second explosive episode of Pariah Nexus stomps into view with glowing red eyes and fetching green armor. Citadel Color Masterclass continues their series of Pariah Nexus themed tutorials with an invaluable guide to painting freehand flame effects, and lore masters peer into the mysterious ways of the Necron Deathmarks. Why Deathmarks, you might ask? Oh, no reason. Hmm. As featured here, and here, and here. Here at Warhammer Community, and by here I mean here, which is not me, it's them. I'm not them, I'm me, you're you. We, and by we I mean they, and I guess by extension you and me, so us, all of us, we, will be continuing our dive into Codex Space Marines for some juicy tidbits of rules and reveals, as well as a new Apocrypha, Necromunda, Download. Let's try that one again. As a new Apocrypha Necromunda. Got that one on the second try. And more fiction from the Dawnbringers. Are those like vampire fighters? Check back every day for your favorite updates and news. I missed the asterisk. This product has been delayed in Japan. Yeah.